All right, guys, you asked for it, so I'll give you guys uh, uh, like a sort of explanation of what I was doing with the first Amazon coding problem. I don't actually remember the second one that well, so I have to look through that again. But anyway, the the first one was something like this, where it's like it was like find the pairs of i and j in an array. Find number of pairs of i j in an array such that uh, you can transform like one string to another. It was something like this, I believe. It was something like this. By adding one, one character to each. So like what they meant was like A, B, C, if you add one character, A would become B and then B would become C and C would become D. So this would be like a pair. So like this, the first, so it, like, let's say we have this array, A, B, C, B, C, D, etc. This to this would be like a pair. And we just had to count, find the number of pairs I, J, such that you could transform it by, by adding one character, like increasing the character by one to each. So um, if you go back to like what I was doing in the first vid, in the code, um, you can actually see what I was doing. So basically what I was doing is a solution to this would be like to first, instead of like using two, instead of using two for loops, what you would do is you would just actually just, um, so let's say we're just going to loop through from the start to the end. And we're just going to pick like the one, one string, just any string. And then we're just going to like add one to each of the characters. So a, if it was a, I would just add one to it. So a would become B, right? So the next value of the ASCII table and then B would become C and then C would become D. Right, so I would have B, C, D, right? And then um, what I did was like, I hashed all the, each of these strings as like a frequency, frequency uh, table, sort of. So I had A, B, C, that would be like one count. B, C, D would be another count, and so on and so forth. So then when I looped through from beginning to end, all I had to check was that after I got this uh, string, BCD, I just have to check how many occurrences of BCD there were. And I just add it to like a total total count. And I just return it. So yeah, that was that was basically the, the gist of the code. Um, you could look at what I was doing in the first coding challenge in the vid. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this. Um, the second one, I don't remember what it was. But I'm pretty sure it had something to do with like sliding window. I'll look back into the vid again on what I was doing. And then I could explain that in another video. But yeah, this was like the first coding problem I had. And this wasn't, it took a while for me to figure this out. Um, one of the edge cases was that Z would actually go back to A, right? So Z is supposed to, like if you add one to Z, it's supposed to go back to A. So yeah, you just have to like make sure that you go to the next character. And um, to go to the next character, you just had to just add one to the character and then just change it to like as ASCII equivalent. So yeah. Um, yeah. So this was the first coding problem, I guess, from Amazon that I got. But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll look at the second one. And then yeah. Peace.